Now with the MCW and the Holger getting nerfed here in the Season 3 update, the MTZ 5.56 is definitely an assault rifle that you need to start using here in Modern Warfare 3. This build you can use in Warzone, you can use it in multiplayer pubs, or even in ranked play. It doesn't matter, this class setup is super disgusting. In today's gameplay though, I drop you two high kill games, getting over 300 kills, and six MGB nukes you guys will enjoy. So if you guys are new here, enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with no on, and let's get into it. Now real quick guys, before I throw you guys in today's crazy gameplays, I do want to show you the new best MTZ 556 class here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 and getting to our class up guys for the first attachment the rear grip and we're gonna be adding on the Bruin TR24 assault grip firing aiming stability probably the most important thing here on this attachment but we're also getting gun kick control and recoil control now with this weapon having fast fire rate and somewhat good recoil control already the only thing I'm really worried about on this attachment is gonna be the stability making this weapon more accurate more calm more smooth when firing so it's gonna help us in all those gun fights but also so it is a bonus to make this weapon easier to control with the gun kick control and recoil control we're getting and this is why i'm gonna be using this for our first attachment here next guys we are jumping all the way over here to the under barrel skipping the magazine and the ammunition type and going to the under barrel and adding on the xrk edge bw4 hand stop grip now this is now the best hand stop you can start running here in modern warfare 3 again with the dr6 getting nerfed now there is other good options you have the msp 98 you have the phantom 5 you have the edge bw4 and still the dr6 is good but honestly if you are going to run one i do recommend the edge bw4 just because you're getting a lot more aim walking movement speed movement speed in general aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed using all these things here we are moving faster around the map so we are getting into more engagements getting those high kill games we are moving faster while aim down sights we're aiming down sights faster shooting faster off a sprint helping us be more aggressive and everything so of course we do want to run this for our second attachment now, jumping up here to the barrel next, guys, we're going to be adding on the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel. Now, in my opinion, this is the best barrel for the MTZ 556, which people could argue that the Drifter Heavy Long Barrel is good as well. Yes, you are getting more damage range, you are getting some recoil control, but honestly, with the Clinch Pro Barrel, you're getting firing aim stability and everything, you're getting a faster bull velocity, and the damage range from the difference of the barrel is not that much, but maybe 7%. Nothing too crazy here. I do like the bull velocity on this weapon with having a fast fire on this weapon that's going to be a great combo but with the effective damage range that we're getting here by 21 percent this thing is going to delete people at any range and again you will see that in today's gameplays now we are going to go to the optic next and of course you know what we're going to be adding on is going to be the jack classes optic the best optic as of right now here in modern warfare 3 it's a blue dot which everyone loves a clean iron sights now we're gonna be jumping over here to the optic next and of course everyone you should be running the jack glasses optic which is by far the best optic here in modern warfare 3 it got banned in rank play because it was so broken it's a clean sight it has a blue dot which everyone loves and also you're getting firing aiming stability which is super important about this build here having stability on this weapon is going to make you more accurate make the weapon more smooth when firing so of course we're going to be adding on the best optic here here in modern warfare 3 and then getting to our final attachment guys we are going to the stock and we're going to be adding on the Bruin Arch Angle MK2 stock. We are getting some gun kick control, but most importantly, we are getting some firing aiming stability. 100% though, I do think this assault rifle is easily a top 3 assault rifle as of right now. I rank it number 2. Number 1 is the SVA 100% because it's how good it is at long range. But the MTZ clears any other weapon as of right now up close. It's really good. You have to try it out and especially with this build that I'm using. I do have the Stinger pistol on so I can move fast around the map. Here is the class up that I'm always using. I have the stun nade on as usual. Same with the Simtex. We are running Dead Silence so we do get Dead Silence and Ghost when using this field upgrade. Scavenger gloves, the lightweight boots in the data jacker but try this build out guys let me know if you drop any high kill games get any nukes just let me know in the comments but guys thanks so much for watching you guys stay safe and i hope you enjoy these gameplays the snaps yes sir okay i thought that was a grenade launcher for a second but we're chilling still hold on easy easy make sure okay we're, we're chilling yep i love the mtz like i said a couple days ago in my top five video the MTZ and the SVA are literally like number one and two for weapons right now for assault rifles. You no longer want to use the MCW. You no longer want to use the Holger. It's the SVA and it's the MTZ. Which the only re I, I, I say that I say the SVA is number one, just because of the the tapping you can do the like the tap burst. But the MTZ is really good up close, so it's really kind of hard to. Uh, it's kind of hard to argue. 
on what you want for like your go-to. Just really depends on if you're trying to play aggressive, trying to play slow. What range do you want to take your gunfights to? I mean, it all just comes into uh, it come all comes into play. Let's go ahead and call the dead silence in so we get our ghost. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Hold on. Yeah, this gun is... The MTZ is just super dirty up close. Follow me. Alright, this is our last kill for the MGB. Yes, sir. Perfect. Try getting some head on getting gameplay today. Today is a busy day for us here. And, like, I... I, I'm trying to like switch the maps up, but man, like I mean, just regular 6v6 on the big maps. I mean, people just don't know how to move, and like I don't really know, like I really don't know what type of gameplays you guys like to see. Like I know you guys like to see the nukes and like 100 kill games. I, I know like on the big maps I can drop a nuke, but I I just can't like I, there's no way in the world I'm, I'm gonna be able to do both sometimes. So like. Let me know, like, what do you guys prefer to see more in the gameplays? Which, I'm sure I already know the answer, but... There's our first nuke, though. We were on a 40 kill streak right there. Holy moly. Perfect. Yep. Alright, let's give this a reload. Yeah, sure. He's running a shotgun. I Over here, throwing hands with people. We have these guys looking up in the sky right now. That's really good. The snaps are in. All right, let's keep going here. We're starting to catch. We're starting to blow our lead here. Well, not. We're starting to gain a huge lead. I meant to say. Oh, there's a guy. I don't know why you'd be sniping. Perfect. We got all of our shrieks again. I guess we'll go ahead and throw up the advance. Perfect. Now they're just going to be spawning everywhere right now. I got two bullets. There's no way in the world I'm going to be able to kill them. Give this a reload. I mean, and with this class also, you could argue, you know, what... Do you want to add on the 50-round mag or, you know, it's really, it's really arguable on what do you want to run. I mean, I'm fine with reloading a lot. I really am. Just again, you know, it's just really preference on what do you want for the class. I, the only reason, like, I will run this one other than, you know, assault ri other assault rifles that have big mags like that is the reload speed is actually pretty quick on this weapon. So you're reloading and just kind of instantly getting back in the gunfight. So, all right, we're three kills off a, a nuke here. So let's, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and hurry up and grab this nuke. They're probably going to be spawning in that corner again, though. All right, one more kill. There we go. We got a double nuke. 81 kills as well. We're actually we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And I will go ahead and call this other VTOL in. I'm trying to trying to use some different streaks as well. And I got sniped. I didn't even see the dude. Tuh. All right, that should be a kill, though. Right here. Boom. Told you. Well, my VTOL got him. There he oh I got the assist, darn. We're making people leave now, that's not good. And I get sniped again, bro. I, I swear, snipers are literally like my kryptonite in this game. And I died to the bullshit. Let's keep going though. Let's keep pushing. Come on. I don't have EOD on, so I gotta be careful. Hey, bro's using the pull me out. Good gun. It is. We're at one more kill for the 100, and that could have been right there. That's the only person that's killed me this game, too. That's funny. All right. An MX Guardian. That's cool. There's our 100th kill. Let's go. GG. Let's go. We have teammates starting to streak now. 
This game is looking like it's over. And I mean, the lead we have as well, so I mean. Oh, he's one shot, bro. Alright, let's keep pushing. Are there some. Oh, I didn't get him. Okay, thank you, teammate. Appreciate that. There we go. Wall bang. I bet right in that uh, grass wall right there would be so easy to do camo challenges. I just never thought about it. All right, we'll go ahead and call my helicopter in. That should be at least one kill. If it's not... Okay, it wasn't. Got the VTOL. Nobody's in the Jeep. We have the data jacker as well, so we basically get that free UAV. Perfect, let's go. I don't want my VTOL killing me, so I'm just going to sit in here for a quick second. Am I going to clutch up a triple nuke here? Maybe. I mean, it'd be kind of sick if I can. We're going to be at hot tub. Perfect. All right, I only need seven more kills. Come on, give it to me. My VTOL is taking all my kills right now. We are at 130 kills, though, too, so I'm fine with this, actually, a lot. I like this a lot. All right, two more kills. Come on. One more kill, and... Bingo! We got the triple kill. Triple kill. Well, we did get a triple kill, but we got a triple nuke as well. Okay, and the, hey, shakedown. He got me again. There we go. And team captain. Come on, brother. What are we doing? Let me see where we got. See what we got going on here. I got 11 bullets. I'm not going to reload quite yet. Maybe so. Let me get to at least 150. I think a 150 kill game is perfect. I didn't even see the dude. They're gonna be spawning over here. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm literally just, I'm literally dropping everything right now. Come on, let's get it. I hate how you have to sometimes you have to literally like why why sometimes before you accidentally call a nuke in or something like that Just be aware of that All right, I gotta call the nuke in now we, we okay, we dropped the 155. Okay, awesome. I'm actually happy with this the MTZ Definitely right now is probably gonna be one of your best options to use as of right now again with the MCW and the Holger getting nerfed the assault rifle meta has changed in this game, so... But we dropped 164 kills. And we got a triple nuke. First game on with the MTZ 556. Let's frick... Oh, we almost dropped 170. That VTOL's going crazy, but hey. Let's freaking go, man. What the heck? Teammate just went crazy right there. I don't, I don't know... I don't know what made those... Hey, hey, that dude has... Uh, Okay, that makes sense now. That that dude on the other team, he threw down a prox mine, and our teammate threw a nade, and it made it explode. I mean, that's... I mean, that's insane, but hey. All right, we got most of our streaks now. Go ahead and call that helicopter in. All right, we want... Um, these guys are playing a lot of objective... On the other team, though, that's my uh, on our team. That's the only issue I have right now. I know he was one shot. I could pick up a different weapon. I really could right now. Okay, this could hold on. This is actually really bad. All right, we're fine. I, sh I should be fine. Good God, man. Enemy KIA 
All right, let's 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 focus up back up here. All right, I have a bunch of ammo. Oh, we're chilling. We are chilling. Perfect. This guy's might jump over. No. Perfect. Let's get this nuke. Come on. All right, awesome. I like this gun so much because you can reload, get back into the action really quick. That's the main reason. I'm going to put this right here. That's the main reason why I like the MTZ. And also the fire rate makes it, I mean, insanely good. So, Oh, there's another spawn in here. There we go. All right, we got our first MGB nuke. Perfect. Let's go. Easy, easy. I don't know if it's just like just having like a cool camo on my gun buff or something like that, but I mean we have been playing insane since I've put in this camo on, honestly. And to get this camo, I'm sure a lot of people will ask. You have to get a Urzik stand nuke, which you have to win like 30 games to get the nuke contract, or you have to win five games in a row to get the new contract just regardless you have to get the new contract and you have to do like a bunch of like different tasks in game you have to like in your in your time like in your time gated so like you have like 15 minutes to grab different fusions or like fusion cores of nukes or something like that and then you build a nuke and then it's your team versus basically everyone else in the game and i'm dead but yeah it, it, it it's kind of chaotic but once you do it it's pretty cool and you get like a nuke skin and like a new calling card and all that so i will say if you are good enough to do it i would just i mean go ahead and do it it is super fun it does test your skills but give it a shot all right we're back on a streak though what's this guy doing i mean we're, we're chilling. Okay. We call that helicopter in. I should. That should be the right. right yep, that's a kill. Maybe not. Alright, well, they're double capping us. And I'm going to be honest here. The game is not that far apart, so. I have them looking in the sky right now as well, so they have like a huge disadvantage against me right now. Perfect. Okay, get in it. Let's get this 18th Street. We have them laying down. This is good. Oh, this is. We have them in a spawn trap right now. I know I'm hated right now against these guys. Perfect, perfect. Oh, they can grab B. Come on, grab it. Let's go ahead and grab, let's call this VTOL in. I want to clutch up 100 kills as well. I mean, again, I like to I like to get nukes and I like to get 100 kill games. I kind of like to do both. That's just, that's just how I've always been. Nukes in a 100 kill game seems pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and call the dead silence in. All right, one more kill, and we have an MGB. Let's get this MGB. Come on. I didn't get it. I didn't get it still. And we have the extra second MGB. And we are, like, just... I mean, this is a crazy spawn trap right here, too. I actually love it. We have the gas nades. We have the fart nades going on. We don't like that. All right, we're still chilling. We're at 102 kills. Perfect. What, what, is he? Does he have that royalty tiger skin? Cause that's like a $70 camo. That's kind of clean. I think he he might have it. I don't know. 
I I'm thinking about, uh, there's like the golden cheetah camo that's out. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. But it's literally $100, so I don't know if I want to buy it. Oh, I didn't even... Alright, subverter. Cool. I didn't even see him, bro. Come on. I, I have plenty of time here to drop a triple nuke still, so... Imagine a back-to-back -back triple nuke. That'd actually be tough. These guys have, like, Army of Two type vibes going on back-to-back. Oh, we got a stun. I'm over here shooting circles around people. Teammate came clutch with a nade. Oh my god, they're spawning all over me. Okay, just give me a second. I'm getting overstimulated. He has an RPG, oh god. Alright, let's get some more control of the map. Call this helicopter in. Give me, give, just give me the kill I need. Okay, or don't. Or don't, that's cool. I don't think I'm gonna get this other nuke. I could. I'm on a 19. It's gonna be a nail biter. It's gonna be a nail biter, come on. Definitely going to be the nail biter here. <clears throat> but give me those quad feeds. I'll take it. I got 19 bullets. I got to push with this. I got to push. Alright, this is like literally the five kills right here would be like a buzzer beater in the finals. But then we go on like an 18-0 run at the final. There we go. We got the triple nuke. We clutched it up. That's what I like to see. And we drop 142 kills so far. Perfect. Let's freaking go, man. All right, let's go ahead and call this VTOL in. We'll go ahead and drop it over here at, at C. And uh, we're going to go ahead and call this nuke in. Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go, bro. I mean, back-to-back -back master class of gameplays with the MTZ. If, if you're not using the MTZ after its buff, if you're not using this build, I honestly don't know what to tell you man i really don't but we drop 150 kills a back-to-back -back 150 plus kill game a back-to-back -back triple nuke with this weapon use it now i'm telling y'all you gotta use it